for JP Morgan Chase. In 2017, the firm issued public commitment to rely 100% on renewable energy by end of next year. We have developed rather very broad and far-reaching strategy. We started looking into reduction of energy footprint. We started looking into on-site renewable energy generation. We were the first bank to execute virtual power purchase agreement. And on such, we're trying to cover rather very large portfolio, approximately 6,500 buildings in 60 countries. To put things into perspective, it's approximately 27 times square footage of the office space at that Empire State Building. That being said, as we progressed on our journey, we started deploying photovoltaics at over 1,000 locations. We upgraded LEDs at our buildings to the tune of about quarter billion dollars. We started realizing that in time, there are certain limitations that current technologies present. We started thinking outside of the box. And the idea that I would like to present to you is somewhat un un unconventional, yet we think it's going to work. We're trying to enhance current evolution of technologies that would allow us to plug the gap so we would buy the least amount of renewable energy certificates that we can. Namely, there are several technologies that I would like to point. One is flexible solar panels. Sometimes roofs cannot handle normal conventional panels, yet there are technologies out there that can solve that. Small fuel cells present a composition of reliance and reliability, simultaneously resiliency, yet quite often in some locations it would mean lower carbon footprint. Storage. At locations like branches, quite often it's not economical, yet if there is another phase of technology evolution, it would make sense to combine previous two plus storage. However, if you would apply also blockchain solution to it, that you get immutable provenance, you know exactly where those green electrons came from, you tokenize entire platform, and you create standardized data capture that allowing big data learning exercise, specifically reinforcing machine learning, and you put it under artificial intelligence, you create virtual distributed network that can modulate for the purpose of optimization, further enhancing solution. I would like to turn over to Mario for him to touch base on the program that he is running. Hello, everyone. So from where I'm standing, it's blinding. I cannot see you, but that means you can see me. So uh, my name is Mario Azar. I'm the president of Power at Black & Veatch. I don't know how many people know Black & Veatch. It's a company uh, based out of Kansas City that's been doing infrastructure for over 100 years. Uh, I joined Black & Veatch actually late last year. And uh, it's been really exciting uh, because we are truly uh, at the intersection of a massive change in the power landscape. What Alec talked about is just one great example how, you know, uh, renewable power generation, distributed power generation, has gone beyond uh, an idea and a concept to the enterprise level. So JP Morgan Chase trusts in us with uh, converting many of their branches, almost 1,200 branches, to rooftop solar so they could be uh, more independent, they could save costs, and they could have the resilience uh, in case power is interrupted is just one example, a great example, because you'd think by now uh, this would be far more broad in terms of the implementation than it really is. So in this context, I think I really congratulate JP Morgan on being you know, as uh, forthcoming in actually taking action. And this is really where we are right now. We're at the time where enterprises globally are just are taking action. And this picture you, you see in front of you is just a picture of the you know, possibilities. But the drivers are actually pretty straightforward. It's not sustainability, obviously, has been the idea for a long time. And Verge is you know, one of those venues that really drives the point home on sustainability. 
but you know the drivers are resilience uh, economics so we have gone from looking at it as an added expense uh, to help the environment and towards sustainability to actually something that economically makes sense and the reason it got there is because we started with environmental uh, uh, protection and sustainability and that drove the need that made things economic enough to happen so now what's really exciting is we're at the point where things are actually happening electric vehicles are happening and you've heard announcement from amazon and uh, many many conglomerates announcing you know carbon neutral uh, near future this means infrastructure that really could support it. And this is really where we come in, Black & Veatch. Our mission as a company is building a world of difference. We've been doing it for 100 years in many forms that humanity needed. Today, humanity needs clean planet and at the same time uh, having the resilience uh, and so that's what we're seeing. So we actually reorganize our business around it as uh, Black & Veatch Power. Uh, we, we have created a business called Distributed Energy that is looking specifically at these smaller distributed infrastructures like the one you see right outside with the macro grid and the batteries doing uh, you know, the project for JP Morgan Chase and many more and uh, as a company, we also do uh, electric vehicle charging stations, and we're looking at connecting all of this together. So the JP Morgan Chase uh, project will go from the rooftop solar to adding the batteries and then putting the charging stations so customers are charging their cars. And that's just what the future, the present, but really the future looks like. It's truly exciting. Uh, time to be in, historic. So go back to when there was transformation from uh, uh, horse-drawn carriages uh, to the car, uh, combustion engine car, and now you're really living the transformation from that to very different look and future with more electric vehicles and buses and trucks and all the infrastructure that enables them and it's really exciting. So happy to be here in California uh, where this is really in focus and being part of this. I'd like to leave you with one idea, one note. Even if we would touch every single common technology, we would certainly achieve quite a few goals, but we're not going to exceed X. In my mind, my personal view, if we merge several technologies, like flexible panels, batteries, blockchain, AI, and if we focus on solving that combination, this 3D puzzle, that actually is going to enhance not just sustainability goals or renewable energy goals, it's actually good business. It took us a while to solve blockchain solution, yet we figured it out. We're working on AI, we're working on solar, we're working on multiple technologies, yet Combination of those, that's the most powerful element. Quite often in this world, in my opinion, one plus one plus one is not three, it's actually four. So thank you everyone. Thank you. Happy to be here. <laughs>